If you've been looking for a wide body fifth wheel with plenty of seating for all your friends to sit around a TV, maybe watch a game, maybe you want to just play a board game or cook an amazing meal in this large U-shaped kitchen with all the storage you could possibly want. Well, folks, right now is the 2023 Keystone Sprinter Limited 3670 FLS. I think you're going to love it. One of the best parts about a front living is being able to sit around, hang with the boys, the ladies, the friends, the fam. And this right here is where you can do it. So the thing I love about this one is you have dual opposing slides, both of them, with a tri-fold sofa. So what does that mean to you? Well, it means you have great seating as well as great sleeping. So if you want guests to be able to stay the night, you can sleep up to four people here as long as they're okay cuddling up. So that's pretty darn cool. Something I like about this one, they, they changed up the front end a little bit. When you talk about front living, a lot of times... You'll have a window up there or something, and, you know, the TV may be on like a, a they call it a televator, something that brings the TV up and down. But I personally really like what they've done here. I like the open shelving on the sides. I think it adds uh, quite a bit as far as the aesthetic, plus storage underneath. And I really like this. It kind of gives the illusion of having, uh, like a, you know, like a fireplace at home, right? So I, I really kind of like that addition. Plus, you have the sound bar right underneath. Um, but, you know, again, that mantle, I think, just kind of really help set things apart and then the big fireplace down below not only does that help again for aesthetic purposes but folks that's also a space heater now i don't need it on a day like today because it's hot but if it's colder that's gonna do a great job of taking the chill off on a hot day like today i'd want to run one of the dual acs that are in here and one of the cool things about this one is this is the blade ac system but not only is it the blade ac it is the blade pure what does that mean well a couple things one it's gonna have 30% uh, more air volume than a standard AC. It's also gonna be 30% quieter, and this is directional cooling, meaning it's not just one vector where it blows straight on you, it's actually a full 360. And then you also have residential filters in here, which make it nice and easy to clean. You just change that filter out, so you don't have to worry about washing anything. It's a whole mess that a lot of people forget about. Right down here are your theater seats. This, of course, is also part of that front living right across in the TV where you want it. These are powered. They are super simple and easy to use. Some cup holders there in the center as well as a spot for the remotes. You have roller shades all the way throughout. They are blackout shades, so if your friends want to uh, sleep a little bit longer up top, they can do so. And when we step down into the kitchen space, right here will be your main control panel so you walk in you can see all your slide outs lights everything you need plus this one does have the tankless water heater Gerard tankless water heater is fantastic that way you have basically unlimited hot water you have the in command light so you can uh, use essentially bluetooth you can pair it control everything right from your phone usb ports electrical outlets plenty of storage all the way around and you can kind of see you know the depth there it is uh, some decent storage also right down underneath is where your fuse box will be located. Uh, now in the kitchen itself, solid surface all the way throughout folks. I do want to point that out. I love, love, love the countertops. I think it's a nice bright color. Uh, and again, that solid surface is something you would expect in a little bit, um, a nicer fifth wheel. And we'll get to that a little bit more as we move our way in. Sorry about the sound. It, your fridge won't make that. It's because it's brand new and it has all the uh, packing material still on it. So, uh, but you can see here all the space you get. I mean, it is a massive fridge and what's even better is this is 12 volt. So the reason I like that is because that means it essentially runs off your batteries and the Sprinter limited, uh, fifth wheels come with 200 Watts of solar standard, which is awesome. But this one has actually been upgraded to the 400 I, which means you have two 200 watt panels. So 400 Watts total, plus it has an inverter. So anywhere we see something like say this, where it says inverted outlet, uh, it's exactly that, right? It's already pre-wired. And when you get that 400 I, now that one is good to go. So now you can essentially be able to use uh, your outlets just with your, uh, your standard system. You don't have to have shore power, which is awesome. Uh, one last thing I do want to hit on is the freestanding table and chairs. I personally really like this, especially when you're in, you know, what is normally meant to be more of a couple's coach. It gives more room. It's perfect for sitting down and playing games. And if you need some additional space, you can see right there, you also have a pullout leaf. And if you want some additional storage, you can lift it up and there's your storage right in there. So if you want like, um, you know, like placemats or something, napkins, something like that, it's an excellent spot for it. Uh, the chairs also have some additional uh, space right down there. So just a little something, something if you didn't know. Um, the kitchen itself, as I mentioned, you get great prep space all the way throughout here. I mean, you know, I love, love, love having this huge space, especially if you're one 
uh, like myself who likes to entertain. This is awesome for you know laying out with big spread, drinks, whatever it may be. Storage all the way around here. You can see the glass inlays. I personally really like the storage. I'll open it up just to kind of give you an idea of depth, right? You have a wide body. The Sprinter Limit is a wide body, so you get four inches. Uh, this one's four inches wider than a lot of the other manufacturers out there, so you're getting deeper cabinets. You're getting deeper drawers. I mean, you can see you know, how deep that drawer is, which is great. Uh, three burner cooktop that is recessed, the glass cover, oven there, and then some additional storage space right down underneath that. And then you have your uh, sink here. You can see it is stainless steel undermounted, plus underneath is enough room for a trash can. It's always a big one in my book. I like the faucet and I love the fact that the backsplash not only goes behind the sink, but actually goes behind the cooktop where it needs to be. Um, so that uh, I enjoy. Plus uh, the big window there just lets in a ton of natural light. As we make our way toward the back here, right over to the side, we'll take a pit stop into the bathroom. As for the toilet itself, porcelain bowl, as you would expect, plenty of room here for the legs. Uh, left shoulders touching a little bit, but more than enough space and take a look at that linen closet holy smokes that's a lot of storage for a bathroom love 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 that then of course you have additional storage here on your vanity nice good countertop big countertop uh, you have an inverted outlet there mirrored medicine cabinet up top and because you know our bathroom is in the back on a front living I mean, you know, you, you can be shack and still stand in here and shower no problem. So you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, height issues when you're talking about the bathroom in, in pretty much any front living fifth wheel. Now making our way to the back, you have a dresser right here. And again, deep drawers, thanks to having that extra space, you can have a deep dresser and still have really nice walk room right through here. If you want TV at the foot of the bed, you can see where that uh, can be hooked up at, and of course, just mounted to the wall. An additional window here to let in some natural light. Uh, we'll hit the bed in a second, but first I want to hit right back here. Washer dryer prep, so if you want washer dryer, you can have that mirrored wardrobe. Open that up for you, so again, you can uh, see how much space you have in there. Motion sensored light, electrical outlet in there as well. Plus you have one down here. A lot of manufacturers will just call this good for bedside, but it's really not. You want one that's out here. So if you have like a CPAP machine or something, you can still hook it up. Also the windows on both sides of the slide box here do open, so you can have cross ventilation and then some additional storage across the top. And last but not least, I did mention this one has two ACs and you can see that right there above the king bed. Let's talk about the outside of the Keystone Sprinter Limited 3670 FLS. Starting off right up front, one of the things I love about this one, folks, is that it has max turn technology. Now, I know a lot of manufacturers throw out all sorts of different stuff. It's just a bunch of words half the time, but max turn actually is super valuable. So what is it? We'll talk about it real quick. Uh, essentially, they do a couple different things to help you get a much tighter turn radius so that you don't have to have a slider hitch in a short bed truck. I believe it's an 80 degree turn radius. They accomplish that by having the pin box more forward so, and then they tuck this back so it helps you achieve that better turn radius. That is something that uh, only Keystone products currently are able to achieve, which is huge. Uh, you'll also see that they have what they call hitch vision. So as you're backing up, it'll help you align your hitch with your king pin here. Uh, and also the pin box here is a road armor pin box, which means it has a pivoting head, which helps a little bit with some of that bucking and chucking, which is uh, kind of that sensation you get when you're starting or stopping your tow vehicle. So uh, some awesome, awesome, awesome towability features there. The front cap of course is painted absolutely gorgeous uh, you know automotive painted nice and easy to clean you have the LED lights on there too and I personally think Sprinter has a, uh, a great aesthetic a great look this year between the colors and the graphics as we come up to the front here of the 3670 <laughs> thought it was locked I did unlock it that's good um, we'll take a look right up front. I just want to show a couple things. One are going to be your lithium batteries, so you can see those located there. Uh, you will also see your solar. So because this one has been upgraded to the 400i, you had a little bit uh, larger solar controller there. One of the big things I really like to talk about, though, is the fact this one has a solar panel disconnect, which is something, again, that I've only seen on Keystone products so far. And I really like that because what that allows you to do is kill the, uh, the main battery disconnect. You can turn it off right here so you don't have any drain on the battery but leave this on so you still have power from the solar coming into the battery so that's an awesome awesome feature to have uh, you can also see right here you have your 
uh, tire link prep. So if you do want a TPMS system, it's already prepped for it. And talking about uh, tires, we also have your spare right down underneath, which is pretty easy to access. So really great features. Another thing, this is one of those like almost intangibles, but take a look at the great wire management. This is something I personally appreciate is when manufacturers, you know, it, just, it doesn't look like a hot mess, right? Like everything, you know, is all zip tied. Everything is where it should be. And on top of that, all the wiring in a Keystone product and in the Sprinter here is going to be uh, color-coded unified numbered wiring. So that way, if you ever do have any troubleshooting, it makes the troubleshooting so much easier. When we take a look up front, this of course is going to be the bane of almost every front living uh, fifth wheel out there. And that is the fact you just don't get as big of garage storage as you normally do in a fifth wheel. So it's still pretty good storage. It is still nice and open, just not as big. You can see your inverter tucked away on the ceiling right there. This is that in command light system here. It does have outside TV hookup. So if you want an outside TV, uh, that is where it could mount at. And then large power awning. The thing I really like about this is this is great camp space right in here. A lot of times we start getting into the big fifth wheels, the kitchens will have a slide out or whatever's here in the middle have a slide out and it takes up a lot of space. That's not the case here. You have this awesome, awesome, awesome camp space, which I love. The steps themselves, Lippert solid steps. Not only are these uh, more stable for climbing up, but it's also a lot better for pets. Um, you know, dogs certainly appreciate having the bigger treads on here. They are aluminum, so they won't rust. And this first step is a little bit bigger. So that way, as you're coming out of the RV, uh, you're not going to slip and fall. And this uh, grab handle here will aid you in getting in as well. Uh, this one does have the thermal package on there. It utilizes Astrofoil insulation, but Sprinter has been tested zero to 100 degrees. It has been third party tested, so they're good there. You also see the, uh, the solar flex, as I mentioned, this one has been upgraded to the 400. This is a cool feature, especially being on a uh, couple's model. Look at that outside fridge. I mean, I don't know about uh, you watching, but for me, this is my favorite part of an outside kitchen is having the mini fridge. So I love that they were able to sneak that in here, even though again, it is designed to be more of a couple's model. And again, it's right in that camp space, right where I want it. So I can quickly uh, grab a nice cold beverage. We drop down underneath, you will see the road armor suspension there. Gotta love that. That'll give you three inches of travel. So as you're going down the road, it'll help uh, eat up some of those potholes. So your uh, everything inside when you get to your destination won't be all busted up or fallen out of cabinets. As we mentioned inside, this one does have the uh, tankless water heater. You can see that right there. Ground control 3.0. It is worth mentioning this one does have the auto level. Uh, and that's a huge feature too, just touch of a button. And then to help make up for the storage on most front living, this is what they do is they give you this big storage. This is your under bed storage. So that's what you're seeing right in there, but it does give you a few different access points, um, which again, I personally enjoy. Coming around to the back, is your uh, rear mounted ladder, 250 pound weight capacity. It is a fully walkable roof as you'd expect. So you can get up there for uh, just about anything. Uh, you'll also see the backup camera prep located there. This will just be your uh, multi-source controller, which is uh, part of the key TV system. So that's where your cable or satellite will plug into. Then if we drop down a couple quick things I do want to hit on. One is a propane quick connect. Love, love, love having that. The other one is this guy right here. Uh, this is a hitch. It's rated for 3000 pounds. So, um, you know, although you probably can't tow anything in most states because of the length of this RV, it is still a great accessory hitch. So if you have like a bigger bike rack or something like that, you can uh, slide it right on in there. Uh, to make our way forward a little bit, I do just kind of want to get in front of uh, this slide. Just a few last things to show you. One of them, of course, will be where your, um, your 50 amp uh, power cord will plug into your docking station will be right here with all of your water hookups and then i also wanted to show you your uh, auto level will be located right there as we mentioned, the Sprinter Limited Wide Body 3670 FLS is a fantastic front living floor plan. Plus, it has a great price point on it, especially for everything you get. So if you're interested, you definitely want to click on the link in the description for price and availability. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker. And until next time, we'll see you.